Planes. It's it's this line from this Gillian Welch song. The line is the breathless hours on a sleeping plane. Like it's this song about uh, kind of two two folks parting ways, like two lovers parting. Okay, so we've been together for like. We, we've, uh, as a band, I think. I think. I have a dirty Seriously, with that mustache? <laughs> I feel like you have latent anger. <laughs> you know, the mustache thing is something that goes back a few years. So I've been blessed with uh, an, ob an ability to grow a superior beard. I was really enjoying the beard. You know, you looked really good, JJ. Kind of have a non sexual crush on you. <laughs> Well, it's just so hot, man. I can't do it. <laughs> you look like the dad from American Chopper. <laughs> I do right now. I like to think that he's a little bit jealous of my stash ability. I don't know. Last spring, I went to a show, and they had talked with me, I think, just kind of sort of suggested or said, think about it, maybe, you know, maybe you'd want to sing with us, or it'd be great if you'd sing with us. And then afterwards, they sat down, and we were all just hanging out, and they said, okay, now seriously, really, you know, do you want to? I was like, yeah. I mean, I just got real excited about it. Yeah. But it's no, you can get that heavy and awkward. No, you can get that. Yeah. I'll help you. Use your bag. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> help me, you suckers. <laughs> Bass amp, cables, charge stands. I'm not doing There that. you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not as strong as I purport. I saw Titanic in this movie theater when it was a theater. Oh, really? Yeah, it was a movie theater for a while. And uh, so on, on the balcony, I was like on the left side of the balcony, and we saw. Um, I saw a Titanic um, here. It was terrible. Okay. I did. Thanks. Series. Eric Strominus, Brian Cooper on drums, and uh, you're Marty. That's right. This is Marty. <laughs> Martin and Eric are both psychiatrists, both in the medical field, and JJ is a part-time. Um, he's a sub teacher and a musician as well. I mean, they're all musicians, but um, and Brian teaches drumming, I think, at one of the the music places in town. And I'm a PhD student in literary studies, and I teach as well. Um, I mean, there are songs that that. They really require that dynamic edge that Corey brings in harmony vocals. I just feel like Corey is such a huge piece to things working. 
this whiskey sky. Um, ever since high school, I've been not able to go any length of time without playing a little bit. So there's like probably three or four bands that, that I play with regularly and then other work that I pick up on the side. I had to pick a genre for uh, this one website we're on. I think we're called on that website Alternative Folk. I do think it's kind of truly is folk music with a band behind it, but it, it really does become more than that, I think, when we're all together. Christmas, he said, but it's well past the thought. I think now there's kind of an alternative bent to just about any genre, you know, I mean, if someone plays jazz, there's alternative jazz, and then there's going to be, you know, uh, you know, so this is, I think, more folk, but it's more uh, of an alternative to what would be mainstream folk. It's kind of using uh, more pop and more, you know, other, you know, pop music forms, um, but it, you know, has a folk sort of root to it. JJ uh, was making folk records, he has been making um, solo folk records for a while. The second one had some stuff on it that just really moved me to tears. And at that point I just started dreaming about this lineup, you know, where we would combine forces. And didn't even know if it work, would work, sometimes two songwriters doesn't work that well. And, but so far we've maintained a really amicable relationship in terms of sharing songwriting duties. And, Marty's fodder for writing is often his experience as a psychiatrist, uh, just working with people and hearing their stories. And I think Isabel was kind of a catch-all, um, kind of a character sketch of a few different people that he'd interacted with as a psychiatrist. I worked at the prison for a while and heard lots of interesting stories, which is that you hear over and over again about people who attempt suicide for uh, reasons that aren't necessarily to die. And, you know, I think that's kind of interesting. You know, why would you try to kill yourself if you didn't really want to die? It's a very deeply human experience that they're articulating. You know, like Isabel, for instance. Um, that song, the, the lyrics of it kind of connect for me. He heard every word you tell. It's kind of this hopeful message, these hopeful lyrics about um, coming alive in, in a different way. A lot of times what, what I'm thinking when I'm up there singing is just how much I like doing this. I just so much love um, singing with Corey and, uh, and playing with these guys who I just feel like are so talented and I'm really lucky to be with them that uh, I just get really excited and relaxed because I trust them, you know.
Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much.